the film. Hello, everybody. Today, we're going to be checking out this prefab in the back. It looks like one of those bomb shelters that everybody's been hyping about. So let's go on over there and check this out. As you can see in the front of it, I guess it's the front, it's going to be a little garden shed with a little fence that's got a line around it and a little, uh, what is that called? A lamppost that's in the back. So if we get close to the front of it, you can see that it's just a normal looking shed. So we'll go ahead and use this chainsaw to bust through really quick. Now it's nothing like conspicuous on the outside. It's just a shed that, you know, takes us to a little back junkyard area. And we can see we got that little lamp post. We got a little hole over here, which is made out of cement, which is different. This is going to be the air vent piece here. And then over here, if we take a look at these sheet metal pieces, you can bust through the sheet metal and it's going to have a super secret surprise underneath it. So busting out that sheet metal gives us this little opening here. And just in case we got some zombies spawning, we're going to put those blocks behind us. And as you come inside of this place, you can see that there's a light and a door that's locked. Let's bust down this door. Hmm, this is a noisy auger. Probably clicking all the zombies in the area just to get into this thing. Alright, now we're inside. You can see this awesome steel pipes on the side of this thing. Yeah, it looks like it opens up into a kitchen area. Looks like a little pantry back there. And we've got a bathroom, it looks like, over there. And the lounge type of area. Let's go ahead and pop these doors open so we can get a better look. Right, so main entry, first place is this kitchen area, looks gorgeous, it's got a fridge, a stove, little table, four people seating in here, a cooler, just in case your refrigerator or generator goes out. It looks like this room's a giant pantry, this is going to be stocked full of all the food you need in this game to survive. Too bad if there's no beef jerky in here, right? And it looks like this is the part of the air vent that goes out. And then if we come over here, on the right side of the, the fallout shelter, we got a bathroom, a toilet for fresh water. That is awesome. A shower. Now, nobody bathes in the zombie apocalypse except for people with fallout shelters or bomb shelters. A little medicine cabinet and a sink. Well, uh, probably be useful if they had a mirror on that so we could shave and stuff. But that's okay. So let's check out this other room here. What do we have in here? We got a little bookcase, a lounge, an extra cooler in here. That looks like a little bedroom in here. We got lights, storage lockers for everybody. Looks like this is a four-man bunker. Just enough for like a small family to live in here. Some little essentials like a gun safe. We need a gun safe in a bomb shelter. And a storage wooden chest over here. Not bad. This is pretty cool. I love the corners and the angles that they did in this. This is just one of those places where, if you find it in-game, you just want to move into it. But I think it might be a little bit difficult to defend it. Maybe you can do something with this air vent or something. Well, let's go ahead and check the map. If you can see on the map over here... Now let's move out so we don't have our little arrow sitting there. I duck to get out. And if we come back over here to the side of the road... Pop this map open again. As you can see, it's just a little square there with the fence around it. And it looks like that's a little car there, and that's a little part for the fallout shelter. It looks a little bit indented like it's going to be the uh, kind of cave setup that you got. So this one's in the desert. I think these spawn just about anywhere. I think they can spawn in towns pretty much everywhere that you can get, but it's only going to be one per like town or city that you get into. So this is pretty cool stuff. Let's take a quick peek at the underneath of it. So if we can see from the underneath of it, underside of it, 
you got the shed right there and it takes up a lot of the space underneath this fenced off area this looks like the air vent piece so if we look through here we can see that the air vent goes down and straight into the kitchen area that's pretty awesome I guess it would be an extra escape route just in case you need it well I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you want more, hit that like button and hit the subscribe button. We'll try to get more out to you. And we will see you next time.